COVID-19 already turning the school year upside down. Now there's a push to, to cancel standardized tests and grade schools and high schools in Illinois. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio joins us live. Suzanne, they're running out of time. Well, you know, the U.S. Department of Education is requiring that that testing start later this month, but the superintendents that you're about to see, they're saying it shouldn't just happen because it's not fair to the students. Pleasantdale Middle School is among the schools in Pleasantdale District 107, which covers Burr Ridge, Willow Springs, Countryside, LaGrange, and Indian Head Park. Superintendent Dave Palzette says the upcoming state standardized test shouldn't be given to students this year. The goal of a standardized test is to measure a year's growth and a year's time in a standardized way, and you ha don't have a standardized method of delivering content, are you really measuring what you're setting out to measure? Is the tool really appropriate in that case? Palzette is among the 682 school superintendents across Illinois that signed this letter to the U.S. Department of Education. It asks for a waiver for mandated state assessments for 2021. Superintendent Tony Sanders of School District U46 wrote the letter. Sanders says testing students now will have a negative impact, leading to lost instruction time, uh, increased social emotional uh, stress for our families, for 13,000 kids who don't want to come into a school, uh, for results that are meaningless. The U.S. Department of Education says the assessments will be used to target the need for resources and support, not to hold schools accountable as to whether students have shown growth in math, science, and English. Dr. Teresa Rouse is the superintendent of Joliet Public Schools District 86. She also signed the letter. The idea of the one time a year standalone standardized assessment um, that has a lot of weight put on it, um, being still part of our, um, our world this year, just didn't seem congruent with the fact that our students are really just, they're trying to survive a pandemic. Now, Dr. Rouse says since the majority of her district has been remote, they're scheduling appointments for test taking in small groups, social distancing and mask wearing. That's going to be required. Suzanne Lemonio, CBS2 News.